on heroes. Between the money I'm getting from the insurance and the reward from the mayor, I'll be able to open an even bigger flower shop than before. What do you think? As long as you uh -huh. install the best alarm system on the market, it sounds huh? great. Hey, Bloom, are you okay? It's not like you to let a peanut butter and jelly hmm. go uneaten. Is there something bothering you, sweetie? <sighs> yeah, Mom. There is, sorta. During the fire, I had this sort of... sort of, I don't know, vision? I saw Dad. I saw him... in a fire with a newborn baby. You were saving it, I think. What? What is it? You know something about this? Yes, we do. This is what I was trying to tell you about before, Bloom. What? What is it? You see, honey, we talked to you about being adopted, but what we didn't talk about was that day in the fire when I found you. Huh? What do you mean you found me in a fire? What was I doing there? We don't know, Bloom. I... I heard a voice calling to me. A... a voice? It was a four-alarmer. Four blocks burning and no way to stop it. But when I picked you up, the whole fire went out, huh? just like that. You clearly had the most powerful and amazing magic, but it never came back after that. Why didn't you tell me about it before? Did you think that there was something weird or wrong with me? That I wasn't normal? <laughs> no, Bloom. Of course not. When you told me about being adopted, why didn't you tell me about this, too? We were going to, but since the magic never came back, we thought we'd wait till you were old enough to understand. And then, well, there was that day with Stella, and your powers came back, and you went right off to Althea so quickly before we could sit down and talk with you. Let me tell you something important, sweetie. We did talk to you about the real magic that happened that day. That we found you, mm -hmm. and you found us, and that we became a family together. Bloom, sweetie, we love you so much. I love you guys, too. Money I'll get from the insurance, I'll be able to make the shop even bigger than it was. And we'll get the best alarm system money can buy. I'm sure we will. Hey, don't make fun of me. I worry about you. <laughs> I know, I know. Bloom, aren't you hungry? Remember, heroes have to eat too. Honey, is there something bothering you? Yes, Mom. There is something. What is it? During the fire, I had a sort of... vision. I saw you, Dad, saving a newborn baby from a fire. What? What is it? What did I say? Uh, yes, Mike. I think it's time we told her. She needs to know. Know what? The truth, darling. That baby you saw... That baby was you. Sixteen years ago, I saved you from a fire. A uh, fire? But how did I end up in a fire? We have no idea. Your father found you there. It was a true miracle. The flames were like keeping away from you. It was as if the fire respected you and protected you. I don't know how you got in that building. You were all alone. And yet, Bloom, you were so calm. We knew right then and there that you were a very special child. Then... this means... that I'm not your daughter. Oh. <gasps> you adopted me. Why didn't you ever tell me? We were going to, Bloom. We always intended to tell you the truth as soon as you were old enough to understand. But then everything changed. Fairies, ogres, magic realms. I mean, everything became so crazy, and then there was no time for anything anymore. We never wanted to hide things from you, Bloom. You are the most important person in our lives. You're everything to us. Bloom, we've loved you from the very start. We could never stop loving you. Sweetheart, we love you so very much. I love you too, and to me you'll always be the best parents in the